Can you handle the truth? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for Mar May the 16, 2020, according to St. John. Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying, You will be made free? Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me, because there is no place in you for my word. I declare that I have seen what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you should do what you have heard from the Father. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing what Abraham did. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are indeed doing what your father does. They said to him, We are not illegitimate children. We have one father, God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God, and now I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot accept my word. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. Do you accept the truth? Today, the gospel is so clear. Everyone that sins is the slave of the devil. So clear. So if you sin constantly, know the truth that you're a slave of the devil. A slave is not free. A slave is forced to do whatever his master wants. Whether it be the devil of fornication, whether it be the devil of greed, of pridefulness, of vainglory, of wrath, of hatred, of resentment, any of those are your masters. And who's going to free you? The Lord today tells us, very beautiful, the slave will not remain in the house forever. Only the son does. But if the son liberates you, the son frees you, then you are to remain there. That is heaven. How? Remain in my word. That is keep his word, obey his commandments. There is no other way. There is no way around it. And that is exactly how it is being explained by so many and all of our fathers in the orthodoxy. First, we need to be purified. Then we need to be illumined. Then we are going to be sanctified. And when we are sanctified, we will be like the earth that has received a seed, which is the word and that has received the water of the Holy Spirit, and then starts to produce without it knowing how the fruits of God. There is no other way around it. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.